Good. So did Cindy give you my message? Yes. yes. Do they want a trial date or are they going to mediate again? Or um, I think that Mr. Tolbert is probably going to ask for a private mediation. And then I'm pretty sure Maria is going to say, well, his client can pay for it then. Oh, but they, he, he, him and his client backtracked in every single agreement that we had at the last mediation. We had everything scheduled except for cus except for parenting time and child support. And they wanted huh. to start from scratch today. I don't think I've ever dealt with a guy before. No, nope. he all just to let you know, he also told me that because I'm not an attorney, I shouldn't be mediating. So that's what I'm dealing with. I'm sure you have more experience than he does. I I think that I do, but I don't know. I mean I'm not an attorney, but I, I do have a lot of, I've been semi-mediating at least for over for 20 years. Court is now in session. Benjamin Seward versus Kelly Seward. The record this merits before the court for a pre-trial conference, subsequent to a very short mediation. Have the parties uh, reached your agreement, Mr. Tolbert? They have not, Your Honor. We were not able to proceed with mediation today. Why? The mediator had indicated that they would not um, continue from our session today. After, pre okay. after preliminary discussion with counsel, the mediator indicated that he was not going to proceed with mediation today with us. What? Say Mr. Walker refused to mediate? Mr. Walker indicated that we were not going to continue our session today after discussing with counsel. That's correct. What do you mean, uh, Ms. Gorski? Perhaps you guys, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm not saying Mr. Tolbert. Can you tell me what's going on? Um, at the conclusion of our last mediation on December 11th, um, we set today's, well, in fact, we reported to you, Your Honor, and we set today's date to continue mediation. Mr. Walker indicated at that time that he, he considered the issues that we resolved during that three-hour session to be resolved. When we came back today, um, Mr. Tolbert indicated that, in fact, he was not going to honor the agreement that we had reached last month. And um, there was uh, there were words spoken between Mr. Walker and Mr. Tolbert. All right. If, if, if counsel is going to attempt to throw me under the bus, what I will indicate to your honor is the parties did mediate last time with Mr. Walker. The both parties mediated without attorneys. The attorneys were asked to, to sit in separate Zoom rooms. After the three-hour session, the parties came back together. There was a recitation of financial issues that were placed, um, that were indicated that the parties agreed to. It was an inequitable agreement. It was unfair. And at that point in time, I had indicated to the mediator that we were not going, they, they wished to place those financial agreements in a, into, an, into a, a written agreement to be binding, in which I indicated we would not do that. After having further discussions with my client and indicating to him what his rights are, what the law is, and the general principles of equity in this case, he wanted to proceed with trying to do something that he we believed was a little bit more equitable than what the parties initially believed in. When I when I addressed that with Mr. Walker today, Mr. Walker indicated he would not go back and re remediate those issues, and then he appeared. Then he indicated to me that he was going to advise his court that we were mediating in bad faith, in which I said I. I, I don't agree. There were parenting time issues to be to, to deal with, and in, in addition to these financial issues, I indicated we were both here and we were ready to proceed. Mr. Walker indicated he would not mediate th this matter and to come see you. Well, Mr. Walker is a very experienced, uh, capable mediator, Mr. Tobin. I will tell you that I hear a lot of positive things from a lot of attorneys about Mr. Walker. Um, I, and that's fine. So, and and I'm, I'm sure he is. Your, and I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not meaning to interrupt your honor, but, you know, without advising the court of what it is the parties actually agreed to, um, you know, that that's that, that it's hard for me to fully explain the position. Great. Right. Um, so this is a second mediation effort then, correct? That's correct. All right. Dave, what do you want a trial date, Mr. Tobert? Is that where we're going? Well, I, I had offered at one point to to schedule this with a private mediator, but I don't believe that they that uh, Ms. Gorski agreed to that. So if if the only conclusion at this date is to set a trial date, then we'll have to. I, I have no problems trying to mediate and resolve this case. I think I I honestly think that a, a trial in this matter is only going to cost these parties great resources and which they have little of. 
Um, they, no question. No question. Every family law practitioner would agree with that comment, uh, Mr. Tolbert. Who do you propose to be a private mediator? I, you know, I, I would, I would give the court deference to that. Um, Ms. Sigorski and I did. I, I offered Jeff Pepper. Um, I understand he's out of county. He's in Wayne County, but that was a name that I had suggested. Ms. Sigorski didn't provide me a name, but I, I would even leave it in the court's, court's deference if the court wishes to, to choose one. Well, usually this court doesn't. There is a local attorney, one Godfrey, that mediates a lot of difficult cases, but I, I don't uh, uh, appoint a private mediator. That's between the, the counsel and the parties to, to select the mediator. And, and I would be fine with Mr. Godfrey, Your Honor. I've, I've worked with Mr. Godfrey before. I have nothing but respect for him. Ms. Skorsky, your position? Oh. Uh, I said no to a private mediator because I had Mr. Walker available for free. If Mr. Tolbert's saying that Mr. Seward will pay Mr. Godfrey's fee, I don't object to that. I'm not saying that. I think the, the parties need to proceed with, with equal fees. Um, this is a case that that's a, it's a marital matter in which the current funds are marital in nature. So if marital funds are to pay for mediation, um, that's fine. It's... Mr. Tolbert, in the Monroe County, we have about three... Uh, capable mediators at the front of the court are certified, very capable, and there's no expense. So if, in fact, you want a private mediator then uh, and you're, the other side is not willing to, uh, to agree, then you're kind enough to bear the full cost of that private mediator. So I don't know if you want to meet with someone else from the front of the court, if you have an issue with Mr. Walker, uh, or do you want to uh, some, um, go on your own with the private mediator? Your Honor, I'd be fine with someone else from front of the court. That that that's I have no problem with that. But it, but if Mr. Walker had indicated to me that he's not willing to proceed, we probably should try to use someone else. Well, it's I can't believe Mr. Walker's not willing to proceed. Perhaps he doesn't want to rehash something that he thought was already agreed upon. He doesn't uh, may perhaps support something that's backtracking on the prior agreement. But I don't think there's anything on the record. So if someone changed their mind, so be it. Um, I don't know if Ms. Patrick is available this afternoon or Ms. Uh, LaPred. Uh, do both of you have your afternoon set aside for this? We do. We do. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I'll have my office contacts if Ms. LaPred or Ms. Patrick might be available on short notice. Okay. Back on the record, Mr. Gorski, Mr. Tolbert, uh, Ms. LaPred is time to be dated, but our, our Monroe County front of the court, Patrice Patrick is available. I will give you her Zoom ID number. You can write this down. You can hang up and then zoom in to Ms. Patrick. Thank you, Judge. Okay, then uh, after you're done, and I'm sure Ms. Patrick will send you up here. I'd like to continue the pre-talk conference after you talk with uh, Ms. Patrick since you got your uh, afternoon available for this afternoon. I appreciate uh, Ms. Patrick being available on short notice. So you can hang up here and then zoom in uh, and dial down her Zoom ID number, please. Okay. Thank you both. Will do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Court is recalling Benjamin Seward versus Kelly Seward. For the record, this is a matter before the court, subsequent to, to the parties engaging in mediation with Ms. Patrick from the front of the court. This hearing is being conducted via Zoom. The president is Attorney Ron Tolbert, Tolbert, representing Plaintiff Benjamin Seward. Seward and Mr. Seward is present. In addition, Attorney Marie Zagorski is present, representing him with the defendant, Kelly Seward. Ms. Seward is present. Um, the parties have apparently made some progress because they've been uh, at least conferring for the last couple of hours. Is that correct? You're, yes, it is, Your Honor. We made pretty significant progress. And we are scheduled um, with Ms. Patrick to return on February 8th, next Thursday at 9 a.m. if the court will allow it. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, what time? Uh, 9 a.m. on February 8th. That works with your schedule, Ms. Skorsky? It does. Thank you, Judge. All right. Uh, all right. The, the court will send out a brief notice and uh, uh, the parties shall mediate again with Ms. Patrick and everyone will keep the Zoom ID number with Ms. Patrick on February 8th at 9 a.m. and subsequent to that mediation appear before the court for a continued pretrial conference. Very good. Will do. Is there anything else, anything else the court can do this afternoon? No, Your Honor. We appreciate your vigilance and getting us in with Ms. Patrick this afternoon. Right. I'd yeah, like to thank Ms. Patrick for being available on short notice. Thank you, Ms. Patrick. You're welcome, Your Honor. Okay, that will conclude, Mayor. We'll see everyone after the February 8th, 9 a.m. mediation with Ms. Patrick. That will conclude, Mayor. Can I zoom out? You're welcome. Have a good evening.